Hey guys, I'm just going to show you how to fix these legs. So what we want to do first, we're just going to delete all the controls we tried to make on Friday. Let's make sure they're all gone. Including that little polyplane, we're going to delete that as well. Push delete. We're going to delete our IK handles that we've already made. Delete those. And we're just going to work with what we have here. So we have our legs. Let's expand those. I'm going to bring my thighs down here just so I have them right next to each other. So these are our legs. Let's start with the left, left leg, eh? Alright. So, let's make a fresh IK handle. No, no, sorry. Before we do that, I'm going to show you... Yeah. So yeah, we're going to make a fresh IK handle. Just to show you what's going on, alright? So, I'm going to go to my rigging tool set, go to create joints, no, sorry, uh, create IK handle, open that up, make sure that's all set to a default, and then we're going to go ankle and control shift the thigh, and we'll make that handle. See how when you make the handle, it gives you this chart, this little plane this triangle this is actually the direction of the uh, pole vector at the moment the uh, the way it's going to be deforming the leg joints or moving the leg joints this is the default direction in which it's going to be moving based on the angle of our IK now that's obviously really out of whack so if I do that if I put on my move tool it's going to be moving really far out the reason why the, the foot is following like that as well is because this is still an, an FK joint system, so it's following the angle of its parent. So that's not that's not doing anything wrong. What's doing wrong is the direction in which our knee is traveling. So we can fix that. So let's delete our IK handle for now. Now there's a really simple solution. It's um, not perfect because it will shift the joint slightly, but once we reskin it to our new, our new legs, our proper version of our body, it won't really matter. As long as it's moving properly, it doesn't really matter. And as long as it's consistent amongst both the legs. So let's just make sure our legs are completely symmetrical, which they are. Now, the first things we gotta do, we gotta reorient these joints. So we gotta have the our y-axis travel along the same angle as our legs are moving. So we can do that pretty simply. We'll select our joint, our parent joint, the top of the chain. Go to skeleton, orient joint with our options box opened. And because along with our rest of our, bot, our chain going vertically up, our primary axis will be Y, traveling down the legs. So we're going to switch that to Y. We're going to push apply. Uh, sorry, got to zero out our rotation. So basically we have to freeze these rotations. So we re freeze our rotations. Let's just make sure that's working. Let's delete our skins first. So let's go to our body. Where's our proxy? There we are. Show those. Unbind skin. Unbind the skin of this one as well. Well, this one's really screwed up. I'm going to do the old school way. This. There we go. That's good. Those have been unskinned. Let's just delete the history on these as well. By the way, you can delete any any like particular output or input of um, any object in the channel box by clicking on its name. And there's a little thing here, a little search box. You can find it by clicking on this little thing and then making sure it's select by name. 
type in the bind pose or whatever the name of the uh, output or input is, push enter, and then you see it's popped up in the corner there, it's popped up here, you can push delete and it goes away. So I'm just cleaning up these, um, these joints a little bit first. So we should have a nice clean um, leg joint system. We'll freeze those red, re, freeze those transforms. So we'll just freeze those. All. All right. So you should have zero rotation, zero scale issues, etc. Okay. Now let's click on our joint. Go to primary axis as Y. Push OK, and you see that the orientation of the joints has shifted to go along the line of our joint system. We'll do the same thing for the right side as well. Apply. And here we are. Down the line. Perfect. Okay. Now, the IK fix is pretty simple. I'm just going to save this as a new file. Alright. So, what we need to do is tell Maya which way we would like our leg to point when we use the IK. So there's a thing in Maya called set preferred joint, and that's what we're going to use for this. We're going to click on our leg. We're going to actually let's go into world mode, world rotation, and we'll set our preferred angle of rotation. So we're going to go forward with this leg, this joint. Backward with this one, and maybe forward with these ones as well, like so. I'm going to click the top one of our hierarchy, go to set preferred angle, and we'll select hierarchy in our system. So apply, and then we can undo our rotations. Now watch what happens when I set this IK up. Let me just zero out everything first before I do the IK. Okay, now check this out. I'm going to go to skeleton again, create IK handle, select my ankle, select my thigh. And look how straight it is now. Completely straight. To a degree, but much better than it was before. And this is enough to meet be able to do our pole our pole vector in a very efficient in a very clean manner. The only difference you see it's slightly shifted the knee forward a little bit, but it's not going to affect our deformations that much. So it's good enough to have it like that. So we'll do the same with our other, we'll just do that together again, just to show you. I'm going to undo my IK, but this time I'm going to select both of my thighs. I'm going to do the set preferred angle on both my legs. One, two. This is why I'm using world rotation mode, so it's not going to be moving our joints locally. Preferred angle, forward, preferred angle, forward. And now, select our two hierarchy joints. Go to skeleton, set preferred angle. Make sure it's set to hierarchy, push apply. There we go. And then let's just zero out our rotations. Boom, boom, there. Two, set those out, zero those out. Zero those out. I'm gonna zero those out as well. Cool. Okay, pretty nice and clean there. Let's do our IKs again properly this time. So, create IK handle. Select our left angle, left thigh. Cool. That's sorted. Name that th 
Wi-Fi. I can handle L. Our right thigh. Let's do that now. Alright. Okay, handle. Ankle, thigh. There we go. Cool. That's sorted for our, our um, IKs. Now let's add our pole vectors. This one's pretty simple. I'm going to set up our two controllers. Let's snap them to place. Up on its points. Let's make this a little bit more clean too. Let's just go select our locator, our thigh joint, go to modify, match transformations. Again here, match the transformations. All right, see how they've got a bit of an angle that's sort of in line with our IK spline, or IK handle, sorry. That's a good thing, so when we move these out, let's just go into local, sorry, into our object orientation of our th IK handles, bring them forward just a little bit like so, freeze transforms, and now let's do our pole vectors. So, deform, skin, skeleton, constrain, pole vector. Make sure it's set to a, one point, uh, a weight of 1. We'll select our locator, then our IK handle. Push apply. See how it didn't spaz out this time? That's a good thing. Locator 2. Apply. Now, make sure everything's named correctly. Put control leg uh, uh, control pole vector Now, if we select our ankle, our handle, sorry, our handle, and move our leg, ah, nice and clean, perfect. And that's how we solve our little IK issue. We've clocked in at around 13 minutes, so it's a pretty quick fix. And if you can follow this video, you should be able to get it done in about half an hour if you follow these steps. Alright, cool. Save your file, and that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thanks.